Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing how to uh, do the following things Reading to a cell, uh, writing to a cell, read range, uh, write range and append range Okay, so uh, with this uh, we will be concluding the module 3 <coughs> wherein we had the uh, different uh, excel operations uh, in this uh, video Okay, so um, how to do these excel operations first uh, you have to go to this main activity and then you have to uh, drag and drop a sequence and after that the first thing is to read the cell right so to read the cell you need to first have some content in some excel sheet okay you have to create an excel sheet and this uh, link you have to copy okay where is this link present you have to copy so let's uh, fill in some content here after filling in the content here like cell a1 cell b1 cell a2 cell b2 cell a3 and cell b3 okay so six contents are filled now i have to uh, read this content one by one okay so firstly what i'll be doing is i'll be reading one cell then i'll show you how to read all the cells okay so let's go to here and uh, to read the cell, you have to search here the activity read cell, okay. And after you'll be copy pasting this one here. And um, okay, reading the cell uh, sheet A1. And this one has to be present in Excel uh, application scope, okay. So first you have to write here Excel application scope, and everything will be done in that uh, thing, okay. So Excel application scope will be uh, written here. If you can't find Excel app application scope in your search, you have to go to the setting here and then you have to turn off the modern experience. Okay, so here you can see modern experience, right? This you have to turn off. Okay, after you have done that, uh, you can be able to see the Excel um, scope application scope, and inside that, what you'll be writing is read cell. Okay, read cell. So I've written read, read cell here, and this workbook path uh, text must be quoted. This text must be specified. Okay. So let's see this is my path book one doc excel sx i guess b is in caps so let's write it in caps itself so after you have written this one the path here then uh, you'll be reading the cells okay and this red cells where it should get stored the first cell means the in the sheet a1 cell which is the a1 cell this is the sheet okay a1 so this is the cell which will be read cell a1 that content will be read and that will be stored in some result that I'll be creating a variable called as R and that will be stored there. Okay. And uh, that uh, variable will be output. So how will be the variable output is? We'll be having a message box here. In the message box, we'll be outputting this one. Okay. We'll be writing here R, so R will be the output. So let's uh, run the program and see. The execution has started. It will read the first cell. The content should be displayed in the message box, which will be as an output. So cell A1 is read here. Okay. So that was about the reading cell. Now let's have a look at the writing cell. Okay. If you want to write some content to a particular cell, you'll be using the um, activity which is called as write cell. Okay. Write cell will be seen first. So whatever I want to write here, I can write here. So I'll be first writing B I L. Okay. I'll debug the file. In the even um, cell, it will write. Okay. B I L. So in my Excel sheet, there will be a change made here. So this will get turned into B I L after its execution. So let's have a look at that. Okay, BIL is present here. Now I don't want BIL, I'll be writing here cell 1 only. Okay, then that's what that, uh, that was about the writing cell. Now let's have a look at read range. Read range means what? It will read all the content. Okay. So drag and drop the activity here, read range uh, sheet 1. Sheet 1 will be read and the output is of which form data table. Okay. So the data table should be stored somewhere. I'll be creating a variable called k and it will store that in k. Okay. So uh, since the output is in the form of data table, that has to be converted to um, string. So output data table will convert it into string value. So I'll write here or output data table. In the input, I will be giving the value which is k. This is the data table and the result should be stored somewhere in the form of a string. So I'll be give, creating a variable called uh, k1 which is of the type string and the answer will be stored there. To have a look at what is the content of k1, we'll be using the message box. In the message box, you can see what is the content. 
drag and drop here and here I'll be outputting K1 then now let's have a look at this one so whatever the content is stored in the Excel sheet that should be the output so execution has started so what was the uh, tables uh, content cell A1 and cell B1 cell A2, cell B2, cell A3, cell B3 so all of this is uh, written here still bill is getting uh, printed here yeah, I think I had not saved this one but anyways you got the point right so that doesn't matter <coughs> you got the point that's enough right next what we have is the right range okay so let's have a look at right range as well so what is right range do it will write to the whole data sheet but before writing something to a data sheet what it requires is a data table we need to have an initial data table which we'll be writing okay so first we have to create a data table for uh, creating a data table in the previous videos i have told you how to create a data table by using build data table okay by using build data table we'll be able to create a table now let's double click on this one and we'll be inserting some similar values text 2 and here 2 then finally last column we'll be writing here text 3 and the content will be here as 3 then so this is the uh, table which you have ready and the table should be output somewhere right so I'll be creating a variable which I'll be writing as k2 so k2 is my uh, new table and the table content should be written in this uh, sheet right so I'll be writing here k2 okay so k2's content will be written there let's have a look at the, uh, this one if we debug the file and run this what happens is uh, this content will be changed to text1 text text one one text2 2 text3 two, two, text 3 like that it will be seen okay so let's have a look at this one it has started the execution process So here I had done a mistake. This A1 should not be there. Okay, since we are writing it to the whole uh, cell, in this case the A1 should not be present here. So let's edit this one. Here it should be just empty. Okay. Now let's run the program and see. So the execution was ended and whatever was present in k2 was written in the sheet so let's have a look at that so what is written is text 1 1 text 2 2 text 3 3 okay now let's have a look at append range okay so what uh, we'll just do is we'll just delete this one and we'll be writing append range okay so what does append range do in the sheet one only it will append whatever you want we'll just append the same thing again so let's have a look at this one Okay, append means what? Uh, it will be again uh, appending wherever it has stopped. It has stopped here, so it will append from here again the same thing. See here, it got appended. Okay. So that's all uh, what is there in the module 3 regarding the uh, excel operations and make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one